What's up everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in the new Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. So first of all, we wanna make sure that everything, all your Windows parameters are optimal. So the first thing that you need to make sure is your game mode, right? Game mode in your search bar. Make sure that game mode is at off. Make sure that your game bar is at off. And make sure that all the capture uh, background recording and record audio are at off. Really important. Second thing, if you have less than 16 gig of RAM, uh, I recommend this software, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This will clean your uh, purge standby list automatically. Uh, Windows have an issue with it, honestly. And uh, in my previous computer, I had like 16 gig of RAM. And I had a lot of stuttering in uh, the Division 2 Battlefield 5 and even in the la latest uh, Modern Warfare Call of Duty. So this software is amazing. This is the guy who did DDU, the software when you want to uninstall your uh, graphic drivers. So it's not like a bloatware or something and it doesn't take a lot of resources. So really good. Download this. It will help you a lot. Last thing. It's pretty easy. I know everybody knows about it. Oops, sorry everybody knows about it is your driver <laughs> update your driver a lot of people doesn't do that and it's really important as you can see right now the latest driver from nvidia it's for red dead redemption 2 so make sure that you download the latest one it's pretty it's the same thing with amd with the radian make sure that you download your driver you will gain like 10 to 15 percent a boost and also you will make sure that you don't have any issue with crashing and stuff like that so really important to update your graphic drivers so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game first of all i want to mention that the game is not well optimized right now probably in the next month rockstar will uh, release some patches to improve performance because right now it's weird you can like drop a lot of setting and you don't see a big difference in your fps so let's go with the graphic settings first of all i'm playing full hd for sure if you have like a an old laptop integrate video card and stuff like that don't go with full hd in this game uh people with uh, a 20 2080 ti right now are doing like 70 fps at ultra so don't go crazy with your resolution lower this for sure as uh, refresh rate i'm matching my monitor but honestly it doesn't change anything because with all the stuff that i will show you today with my 2070 rtx card and my ryzen 3900x i'm doing like 90 to 100 fps in the prologue uh so with the snow and stuff like that so i'm not even doing my 144 fps uh v-sync i'm putting this one at off you don't need triple buffering when you don't use v-sync so that's pretty much it so now a graphic parameter texture quality i'm playing at ultra so each stuff that you can you will change here will uh, modify your video memory so make sure that you don't bust and get, you need like uh, i don't know 500 meg uh, to make sure that you're not too tight with your memory by the way it's weird my video card have uh, 8 gig of uh, memory and normally here i see like i don't know 7 7400 but now it's like 6800 so i'm not sure if it's a bug or whatever but anyway uh and anisotropic filtering i'm putting x8 it doesn't change anything honestly if you have like a decent video card you will not have any issue with texture and anisotropic filtering lighting quality global illumination quality if you go high to medium you're getting one fps here one fps here if you go to low i didn't see any difference so play at medium this one is the big part, all the shadow in this game, so shadow quality, far shadow quality, screen space, ambient occlusion, put this one at low, low and off, and you will gain 8% in your FPS. That's not a lot, because in a lot of game, when I put, uh, I remove like and put low to the shadow parameter, normally I can gain 15 to 18% in my FPS. But now <laughs> I'm battling like with eight to nine percent, so it's not crazy, but still do it. It you will have a, a huge impact over there in your FPS. Reflection quality, put this one at low. I saw a lot of drop in my FPS with the reflection in this game. So for now, put this one at low. Mirror quality, water quality, I'm putting this one at medium. Again, I saw a nice improvement high to medium, but medium to low didn't see a big improvement. Volumetric quality, this one is really important. High to low, you will gain 3 to 4%. So, a uh, nice chunk over there that you can gain. Particle quality, I'm playing at medium. 
Tessellation quality, not a huge impact in your FPS. You can put this one at high. If you have an old Radeon card, like 4000, 5000, 6000 series, go with low. They have an uh, issue with Tessellation, so uh, for the rest, honestly, go with high. Anti-aliasing, this one is really important. By default, they put MSAA 8X over there. And when I remove this, I, I just gain like 45 FPS straight. So don't use the MSAA. Uh, use medium at TA8. It will improve your image. If you have like an entry uh, computer, laptop, stuff like that, you can try FXAA. But I feel like the image, it's too blurry for me. So honestly, just remove anti-aliasing and for me it's look it looks better and you will have more fps so now the advanced graphic first of all you can change the api for me this is a big surprise i thought the game was like running first of all in the direx 11 and also you have the possibility to use vulcan i did a lot of different tests with the benchmark test and also in game for me i'm getting more fps in vulcan i'm using direct Whoops, sorry guys, I will just back here. Yeah, sorry. I'm using DirectX 12 because I can game capture my, my um, image with uh, Vulkan, with OBS when I'm streaming. So that's why I'm using DirectX 12. But in any scenario, Vulkan was better than DirectX 12. Uh, the other thing I, I want to mention, I don't know why, but my temper temperature are lower with DirectX 12. And even my boost clock are a bit higher, but I'm doing less FPS than Vulcan. So it's a bit odd, but honestly, do your test. Just run the benchmark with the same uh, parameter that you put. Run DirectX, run uh, Vulcan. When you change the uh, graphic API, you need to uh, reset your game because it will not apply if you don't do that. So just do your test. After that, volumetric resolution, volumetric resolution, near and far, put those one at low. It will help you like 3% in your FPS. Volumetric lighting quality, another 2% when you put that low. So nice gain over there. Um, particle lighting quality, I'm putting this one at medium. I didn't see again the difference between low and medium. Soft shadow off, grass shadow, long shadow. So everything with shadow you need to put at low or off. Just remove it for now. And even the full resolution screen space ambient inclusion, put this one at off. After that, uh, water re uh, refraction quality and water reflection quality, put this one at medium. Uh, water physics quality, I'm putting in the middle. Honestly, I didn't really test it. Uh, I, I did a test at very low. I didn't see a huge impact, like maybe 1 to 2 FPS, but I didn't go higher than this. Um, yeah. So resolution scale, don't touch this one. If you want to lower your resolution resolution scale, sorry, uh, don't do that. Just lower your resolution uh, because your image will go blurry with pixels and stuff like that. So not a nice thing to use. Uh, TAA sharpening, don't touch it. Motion blur, I'm putting at off because I don't like the effect. If you like the effect of motion blur, you can put this one at on. It will not change anything in your FPS. Geometry uh, level of detail. This one is really important. It's the famous draw distance. So I'm playing it's kind of high honestly uh, If you go at very very low you can gain another like 6% in your FPS So really important, but the grass one I'm putting at low. So uh, I'm getting like 2% for this one But uh, yeah, definitely just just touch it if you don't like the aspect like you're seeing a too much stuff rendering near from you just go a little bit higher, but it will have a huge impact on your FPS. And for the rest, tree quality, parallax, decal quality, fur quality, put those one at medium and you will have some, It's it will be stable because honestly, I with two medium, you always gain like one to two FPS for each parameter. It's a bit odd honestly right now. I'm pretty sure it will improve a lot when they will release patches. It depends of your goal. If you want to have like a 60, uh, 60 FPS and with, I don't know, with the anti-aliasing and the shadow, you're getting your 60. Don't touch all the other options. You're pretty much done. But uh, if you're still struggling, do the old video and it will help you a lot. Now we will go in the uh, config file because you, we have another thing that we can change to improve our FPS. So now in the config file, to find the config file, you, know, you need to go to document. Rockstar game, Red Dead Redemption 2, settings. You need to open the system here. 
I'm using the Notepad++ because it's easier to see uh, all the parameter. So this is pretty much all the stuff that you already change in your game. So not a huge deal over there. The one that you need to ch search, it's particle. Not the first one. The first one is the one that we said medium. So particle quality at medium. You need to do another search. And uh, not this one also. This one. So particle, shadow particle. Here you need to put this one at false. Uh, you will remove shadow from the particle and it will help you like 2% in your FPS. This is the the, the, the the only thing that you really can do over there. You can touch your uh, LOD if you want, your level of detail scale. But uh, everything else, it's pretty much already inside of the game. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in, in the YouTube section. Post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And very important, update your graphic card driver really important thank you guys peace